John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be to you and peace from him who is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness, Good Sunday afternoon, YouTube. This is John Hampton with Ryland Television with today's Bible lesson from the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Today we're studying verses 4 through 6. And the topic today is going to be, this is going to be a word to the seven churches. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be to you and peace from him who is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of kings on the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and have made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. So here John is saying that uh, he's writing to the seven churches in Asia. But in chapters 2 and 3, once again, we will find out the names of these seven churches. Uh, it is widely believed that these are also representative of the seven church ages that has happened since uh, Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and ascension into heaven. So uh, John, the revelator, is telling them grace and peace from... Uh, uh, from God, basically, because it says that he that is and was and is to come. God is the only one that's always been with us from the beginning of time. And the seven spirits which are before the throne. Once again, this is referring to the seven, you know, you'll see a lot of sevens in the book of Revelation. Uh, the seven spirits also ministering to those seven church ages as well. And to, of course, to God the Father before his throne. Uh, of course, this also says that this grace and peace come from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, meaning that Jesus is the witness to all that's come and all that will come. And, of course, the first begotten of the dead, that's those who are dead in Christ, who will rise at the last day. And, of course, he, he, Jesus is the one that loved us, it says here, and he washed our sins in his own blood. Of course, being that he died on the cross and... Uh, when he died on the cross, his death on the cross in his own blood paid for our sins. All we have to do is believe in him as our Savior and ask forgiveness of our sins to accept that gift. For more information on that, you would check out our Romans Road to Salvation series. There is a uh, series of videos I did on the Romans Road to Salvation. You should be able to find these pretty easily on our uh, YouTube page. Of course, God has made us kings and priests unto him forever when we serve him in heaven in the years to come and of course he is the one to whom glory and dominion over the earth and everything that therein is now next week as we continue this study of the book of revelation and the first chapter of the book of revelation we will be talking about the rapture of the church a lot of people have talked about that over the years uh, the next few verses tackle that topic until then this is John Hampton for Ryland Television. Have a good day and God bless.